Clear. Yeah, both of the virtual entities. You guys must have been really, really quick. Did you see them come out of the truck and shoot at them? Yes. Yes. Awesome. The Velt is a mixed reality environment that we've created here at Iowa State to research cutting edge methods of live, virtual, and constructive training for the military. Well, there are physical walls that you can hide behind, you can duck, avoid uh, fire from virtual enemies or from live enemies, a little bit like a laser tag situation on the physical side, but it's combined with displays. So you might turn a corner and when you look through the window of a wall, it's got a TV in that window, but there's a, an enemy firing at you and you have to fire back at that TV, but there also might be a live actor there who's an enemy firing at you. So that's the mixed reality piece. What we did, we first came up with a, a scenario, a rough idea of what we wanted to do, and then we broke that down into smaller pieces. Instead of an entire room, we broke it down into corner pieces and L-shaped pieces, parts with a, a door or parts with a window. We started out building uh, uh, what we considered to be our, our most complex piece. It was uh, uh, a piece that had a breech door and a window uh, on the on the same L piece, uh, and we wanted to make sure that we were working out any uh, any issues with our design on that piece before we uh, started deploying the design to all of the pieces. Construction took about two weeks, which uh, in hindsight is pretty fast. When uh, we hit the, the point that we felt like our, our design was pretty solid, we sent out an email to recruit uh, a bunch of undergrad students and grad students to help build this thing. And all of these pieces are built together from those building blocks and, uh, and the way we built them we can, actually, we can actually disassemble them for storage or we can disassemble them and reassemble them into different modules altogether. To reconfigure where the walls are positioned for the different scenarios, it takes uh, about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how many people we have helping move things. And I think with some of the changes that we're planning, uh, we should be able to pull that time down from about 30 minutes down to about 15 to 20. The tracking works with optical cameras that uh, are looking at small reflective marker balls that we put on guns, helmets, people, uh, walls, whatever we want to track. And there are cameras overhead in the ceiling that look down on the environment and can, uh, and it's a fully tracked environment. This is uh, one of the helmets that we're tracking and you notice on it there's an arrangement of looks like seven tracking balls and these have to be arranged in a different pattern for each helmet and they have to be arranged such that there, you can see tracking balls from every angle and they can't be too close together. They can't be more than about, you know, two inches. When you pull the trigger, all the trigger really is is, is just a switch and it, it turns on the motor. So what I actually do is I, I look at the motor and I wait to see whether or not whether there's a voltage present from it running. And then once I do that, then there's a, a small radio link that I have. Um, and it transmits perfect. And then uh, that gets transmitted off to a receiver on the computer. And then we have some software that decodes that, that information. It's, it's coded up so that we know one gun of, uh, from another gun. And then that gets transmitted to Bryce's software. My job was to integrate uh, the game engines integrate the tracking information, uh, basically build the, the guts of Delta 3D, which was our custom uh, game engine. One of the challenges in building the Velt was that uh, in traditional game engines like um, uh, Unreal Tournament or VBS2, they are not built for what you might call multi-channel or multi-threaded displays. So they're built for one person at a desktop with one screen. Now Delta 3D is an open source game engine that we've used and we've adapted to work with VR Juggler to provide that. So that can get us this multiple display situation where anywhere you move in the Velt, you can see an appropriate view of the virtual environment. Just right now we have a tracking plugin so we can see the entities in, our Delta, in Delta 3D. We have a 
board plugin and so we can have trigger pulls be actually represented on, in Delta 3D so you can actually move around and fire. Then also you have to have this protocol so you can communicate and also push communication to the VBS2 game engines. We have a, a visualization API juggler and we have a game engine, Delta 3D, that we threw together. So understanding how you get communication from all the way down to I have uh, markers that have centroid to I have somebody in Delta 3D that can fire, orient, orient translate, and shoot. Well, we know from the transformational training roadmap from the Department of Defense that we need to get training that is extremely uh, fast and mobile, right? Because there have been mount sites for a long time where soldiers fly uh, across the U.S. and they'll fly to a site where it's a, like a small village and they'll do uh, gun battle practices. And that's great and that's very valuable. This is different from regular training in that um, a mount site or like a, a normal training facility that the military would use um, would require a lot more effort, a lot more gear, a lot more uh, funding to, to, to make an event go down like this. It's very hard to set up a new scenario because you have to script people out, you have to develop these scenarios, you have to have people interacting with it, you have to create new environments, you have to do, you have to, you know, organize more different soldiers to come in, every, different teams to come in. But soldiers often have only two or three days there at that site. And you get there the first day and you make mistakes and you think, well, that's not so good. And then I want to try again on the second day. But, uh, you know, it's some of the situations you already know, oh, we've done this before because I did this yesterday, the surprise is gone. Whereas this case, if you want to do a different scenario, we can simply have something else, something new happen with the click of a button. So you really need the power of virtual environments to do training well. But you need the presence of the real environment. This is more real than if I were sitting at a computer station. They can come in here with their full combat gear on, whether they're carrying 60 pounds or more, um, and work through this. How does it feel to breach a door when you're carrying your full plate carrier, weapon, helmet, um, when you're loaded up with all the gear that you would normally have in the field. You need to feel, oh, here's a wall, here's a real wall, and there could be an enemy behind that corner, and I need to watch out. If it's just a video game on the screen, you don't have that level of immersion that gives you the stress and the heightened endorphins. They're going to be similar to when you're out in the field. We're excited about this environment, and in the future, we hope to adapt new technologies, especially augmented reality. We all know that the um, flexible, transparent OLED displays, you see these systems like iArm or uh, you know, things in the movies are frequently uh, where people put on the goggles and I see uh, you know, my, my, the good guys who are my team are outlined in blue in my vision and the bad guys are outlined in red and, and if I want to demark uh, this is a building that's dangerous I just hold my finger up and draw an outline around it and that gets recorded. This augmented reality is coming soon because we know the technologies are very close. So we hope this will be an environment we can test that as well. So we'll add the augmented reality, add markerless motion tracking is also on the horizon. Uh, so any of these new technologies that come in, we're going to incorporate them in the VELT, and this will continue to be a cutting-edge research lab for military training.